Welcome to the stage, the young and the beautiful Mr. Pietar Mikhailichus. One, one, one. Can you hear me? Hello! <laughs> hi, 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 hi. You're very, very beautiful today. It's nice to see you. You know, you should come on this side one time and have a look at the audience from the other side. I can tell you it's an experience. All right. Now, I really, really love how they kept the best speakers for the last. <laughs> just kidding, just kidding. By the way, actually, by the show of hands, how many of you have no idea who I am? All right, most of you, most of you, right? I, I thought I was more famous than that. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding with you. All right, so my topic today is programming yourself for success. Who would like to be more successful in life, in business, in all areas of their life? Okay, most of you, right? The rest of you are here because there was nothing on telly, right? <laughs> All right, so these three things um, that are really important. Let me see if my clicker works. Does it work? So there you go. Oh, there you go. Turning it on helps as well. All right, so there's three things that are probably the most important in your business. Uh, and whenever I'm challenged with any problem in my business, I always think which one of those three it could be. So it's attitude skill and work rate. Now what does it mean? Well attitude, do you actually believe you can do it? Skill is do you know how to do it? And work rate is do you do it, right? So the first one, the attitude, is your control tower. You see, Italian fishermen say that fish starts thinking from head down. I think people are exactly the same way. A lot of people, they have the stinking thinking. They need a checkup from the neck up, right? They have the wrong attitude, the wrong ideas, the wrong beliefs about themselves. They think I'm not good enough, I'm not beautiful enough, I'm not young enough, I'm not old enough, or whatever the reason they find why they shouldn't be successful, right? So first thing is to work on your attitude. Think about it, you know, you need to believe in yourself. If you don't believe you can achieve, then it's game over from the very beginning. You won't even be there. A lot of you were seeing these uh, speakers coming on stage today, the leaders coming on stage today, and you thinking to yourself, I could never do that. You know, they must be special. They must have something I don't have. They must be whatever. It's nonsense. It's just you thinking it, right? So everything starts with you. Somebody actually asked me uh, a few days ago, they asked me, what was your biggest challenge when you first started in business? What was your biggest challenge in business? And I said, you know what was my biggest challenge? Me. <laughs> because the only person that can stop you in your business is guess who? You, that's right. Because if you think that your team are not working hard enough, guess who it's up to? Me, Me right? If you know the pro people don't buy the product, who is up to? Me, right? Because if there's 700,000 people in this company and people achieving results and getting cars, etc., then everybody has the same business opportunity. Everybody has the same sample kit. Everybody has the same products. The difference is how you are approaching this business, how you are treating this business, right? And most of the time, you are the person who's stopping you, right? So that's number one, your attitude. Number two is your skill. Ask yourself a question, isn't it time to stop and sharpen the saw? Too many people are banging their head against the wall and they're surprised why they're not getting the results. If you keep doing the same things, then you're gonna get the same results, right? So sometimes you need to stop and start investing in yourself, right? You need some bread for your head, right? A, a bit of a cassette, a bit of a CD, a bit of a, a video, a bit of a motivational training, maybe attending conferences, trainings, etc. that will help you to grow you as a person and give you the right skills, right? everybody should be investing in themselves. If you're not spending 30 minutes a day reading or listening or doing something like that, you're just not serious about your business. Because in order to go to where you've never been, you're gonna have to become a person that you've never been, right? So you need to invest in yourself and grow yourself as a person. Nobody else will do it. Only you can raise your value by investing in yourself. And the third one is work rate. And I believe this is where most people fail. Because most people have the right attitude. They believe, you know, they want to become successful. They have huge dreams and everything. And most people actually have the skills. 
Most of you have been to our numerous trainings, you've watched numerous uh, presentations, you read loads of books, etc. You've got the, the how, you know how to do it. But one thing that a lot of people are lacking is work. They're actually not doing it. They're actually not going out there and applying what they've learned. Now, most of you spent the whole day today here. I hope you're going to put this stuff in practice, you know. Otherwise, I'm going to come and kick your ass, right? <laughs> if you don't, especially you in my team, you know who you are, right? <laughs> but you need to have your DMO. The DMO is daily method of operation, right? Like any business, if you went to any huge company, they have a DMO. They have a plan of action for every week, every month, every year. Do you have one? Do you have things that you do every single day for your business? I do. Yes, I do. Fantastic, fantastic. Right? You have to have these things. So there's four main things that you can do to actually help your business grow. First is finding new customers. Finding new customers is going to put more money into your pocket, isn't it? Yes. Number two is finding new team members. If you find new team members, your structure will grow. That means your business will grow. You'll make more money. Number three is improving the skill of your existing team members. If you improve the skill of your existing team members and they know more, they get better skill set, can they achieve more? Yes. yes. And by doing so, can they make more money for you as a leader? Yes. yes, right? So that's also income producing activity. And number four is build, retaining relationship with your existing customer base. So if you have a customer base that's already buying from you, keeping in touch with them, sending the special offer, sending the information on a regular basis will again keep the money coming in. Now everything else is preparation to work. <laughs> Labeling your products and doing everything except speaking to people, what most people do is actually not work. Does this make sense at all? Yeah. Great, this is yes by the way, this is no. Okay, next is discipline your disappointment. One thing I can promise you that things will go not according to plan. Murphy's Law says whatever can go wrong, will go wrong, right. So things will happen not according to your plan. Things will happen, you know, you will plan and things will not happen, right? People will quit your business, uh, you know, products will come, products will disappear, people will laugh at you, people will ridicule you. There's going to be negative things happening and many people are not prepared for that. You need to vaccinate yourself and prepare for that because it's going to happen. And when you prepare for that, then it's not going to affect you because too many people are knocked out of the business when these things happen. They invite 20 people to a presentation and nobody turns up. And they go, that's it, I give up, right? Because they haven't been prepared for that. You need to prepare that things will happen that you don't anticipate. And it's okay. Challenges will always happen. It's natural. Next thing is going in the opposite direction. You see, what I've learned is that success is almost without exception, is going the opposite direction where everybody else is going. If everybody is coming home and sitting in front of television with a can of beer, should you be doing it? No. no. <laughs> if everybody is afraid to talk to people about the business and the products, should you be talking to people? No. Yes. Yes. Right. So the idea is always doing things that other people wouldn't do. Being different being not like everybody else. And when you do that, you'll start seeing the results. At the end of the day, you need to be proud of this business. Don't ever beg anybody, right? Because you have something to offer, something special that nobody else has. And guess what? There's more people with money problems than there are people who can give solutions like us. There's 7 billion people on this planet. You will never run out of people to talk to, right? So don't worry when somebody says no. Don't worry if somebody uh, gives you hassle. Just move on to the next person. Right? Some will, some won't. So what? Next. Right? Don't waste time. Right? Also, a lot of people are doing minimum and expecting maximum. Right? You've heard that story, right? All you need to do is just speak to one person a month. Right? And in 13 months, you're a diamond orchid. Right? Making 20,000 pounds a month. Ain't gonna happen, is it? Can you do minimum in this business? Yes. But then you're gonna be earning minimum, right? If you wanna earn maximum, what should you do? Maximum, right? You need to go out full out. I have a saying. I say if you pretend to work, then FM UK will pretend to pay you, right? <laughs> very, very straightforward. 
All right. Next thing is mentor. You need to get a mentor. You need to get somebody who already has the results you want to achieve, who already is making the type of money you want to make, who also, who's already has the personality that you want to have, and get them to mentor you. Do whatever it takes to convince them to mentor you, to guide you, to advise you. Because if you don't, you're going to struggle. You see, what most people do, they ask advice of who? Their friends and family, right? I mean, they're broke and they're asking advice from other broke people, right? That is not a great plan to do, I'm telling you, right? You need to get advice from people who know what they're talking about, right? Whenever people are advising you about business, you should be asking yourself, is this person qualified to give me an advice? Have they built a successful business? Have they got real business experience to advise me on that, right? So it's really, really important. So I want you now to repeat after me. I will never again. Take advice from anyone. Take advice from anyone. More, messed More messed up than I am. Good, 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 good. Give yourself a round of applause. <laughs> also, also, some of you are giving yourself an excuse saying, I don't know how. I never did this before, right? I, I'm, you know, I never ran, ran business before. You know, I never went to business school. So I don't know how to do this and probably I can't, right? Not really, right? This is just a story you're telling yourself because you can learn it. How many of you were born using a mobile phone? Not many of you, but you're now using it, right? How many of you were born driving a car? Not many of you, but now you're driving one, right? So if you've learned things in the past, you can also learn this business, right? You just need to be willing to learn it, right? So you can learn it, you just have to put in the time to learn it, right? Also, it is easy. You see, success in life is not hard. It's easy. How hard is it to eat an apple a day to keep the doctors away? It is easy. easy. Okay. How hard is it to have a walk around the block or have a little jog around the block? It is easy. easy. How hard is it to speak to two people a day about your business? Easy. Right? How hard is it to say I love you to your spouse every morning? Easy, easy right? Easy, easy, easy. <laughs> Huh? So, if it's, if it's all so easy, if it's all so easy, what the hell is the problem then? Why isn't everybody healthy, rich, in perfect relationships? The problem is, if it's easy to do, it is easy not to do, right? So what you have to understand that you're going to be a slave to your habits, you want it or not. And you choose the habits. You either choose good habits or you choose bad habits. The choice is up to you. Nobody's going to stop you from choosing the bad ones if you choose to do. Right? So choose the good habits. Having your daily method of operation, speaking to a few people about your business every day, speaking to a few people about your products every day, getting up maybe a half an hour early and reading a book for half an hour. If somebody spent a lifetime building the business and then they went and wrote a book, putting all of their experience in that book, would it be worth for you to spend 30 minutes a day for the next week to read that book? Yeah. That could save you decades in your life if you did that, right? But you have to choose to do it, right? It's easy, but it's also easy not to do, right? Okay. Now you see there's few levels of commitment. There's actually three levels of commitment. And the first level of commitment that most people unfortunately will choose is they will say, I will try it, right? So now I need a volunteer. Who can come? Mindy, come. Yeah. All right. You see? You cannot try anything. Because if I translate I will try it into English language, it means I will quit, I just don't know when. That's what I will try it means. So I have my handsome assistant here. Can we have a round of applause for being brave? Take this pen, Mindy, and I want you to try and drop it on the floor. No, 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 no. no. You dropped it. I want you to try and drop it on the floor. No, now you're not dropping it. Try and drop it. I can't. Do you get it? Yeah. You can't try anything. You either do it or you yeah. don't. Thank you very much. 
So you can't try doing the business. You can't try and build a team. You can't try and become successful. You can't try and be a leader. You either do it or you don't, right? So that's the first level of commitment. The second level of commitment, which is slightly better than I will try it, is when a person says, I will do my best, right? Which is slightly better than I'll try it. However, it's still not great because most people think that their best is a lot less than what they actually could do, isn't it? Right? Because most people, they just don't go full out. They just don't go 100%. They just don't put the effort in. And to take an island, you have to burn the boats, right? You can't just go half-heartedly. You can't be dipping your toe, right? You have to jump in it. So the third and the best level of commitment is when a person says, I will do whatever it takes, right? You see, you can't climb the ladder of success with your hands in your pockets, right? It ain't going to work. If you try to be casual about it, you will become a casualty, right? So you need to go full out. You need to go 100%. So one thing that you need to do is make the success in business or your financial independence your number one priority. Too many people don't do that. Too many people have too many backup plans, right? For too many people, this type of business is just a side project. It's just the thing that they do. It's just a hobby, right? And as long as it stays that way, you will never succeed. Because you always go, well, if I don't succeed, I still have my job. If I don't succeed, my spouse is still working, right? So there's always an excuse not to go full out and not to go and succeed at it. But if it becomes your number one priority, if it becomes more than anything else, then guess what? You're going to go ahead and succeed at it, right? So this is really uh, my wish for you guys is to live fully, love openly, and go and make a difference in other people's life. God bless you and have a great day.